Australia? As I just said here before, you know, it's it's always amazing to to travel with Liverpool Football Club. You know, it just shows how how big this is, not not only in England but all around the world. We had a similar kind of response in Indonesia. Are you ever surprised by the amount of fans we got worldwide? I won't I won't say surprised. You know, I've been here so many years now, so I travelled a lot uh, and I've seen it. Um, so I won't say surprised, but I'm still amazed. You know, still. Still unbelievable. Obviously, LFC TV have been with the team every step of the way on this tour. We've seen you spend a lot of time with fans, signing autographs, taking pictures. How important is that to you to do? Um, I've <sighs> it's it's important for them. You know, they 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 love it when you stop and you you sign an autograph or, or get a photo uh, taken. You know, and if it's important for them, it's important for me. Um, and a lot of kids there as well, and, and you know, that's just a part of, of the job, isn't it? We're on the pitch. How's pre-season training going so far? How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. You know, it, it, it's been hard, uh, as it is every 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 single year. But but it's been good. Uh, we've done a lot of a lot of running, but with the ball, you know, and it, it's disguise all the running a bit, but it, it's done in a nice way. You underwent a procedure at the end of last season. What was the reason for that and what difference will it make? I, uh, first of all, I didn't have an operation. Uh, I had some injections in my back and, uh, and uh, it, it's been some hard month after them, but, but it, it's finally seemed to, to get better now. Are you feeling the benefits? Yeah, definitely. So overall, as a team, what kind of level of fitness is everybody at? Of course, of course we're not there yet, but, but we're, getting, we're getting there. And, uh, and you can see we improve every every single day in training. On the pitch, you've also been joined by Colo Torre in the defensive ranks. How's Colo Torre in the defensive ranks? How's he settling in? Mm, he's, he's you know he's he's been around so long. You know he's he he knows what he's doing, uh, and he's he's a good guy as well. How much have you enjoyed playing alongside him so far? Haven't been much, but but uh, he's he's a class he's a class footballer. You know, and and we know that for a long time. Uh, so that's not not a surprise. What are those qualities that make him a class footballer for you? Um, first of all, he's he's, he's 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 talking a lot on the pitch. He's, he's well organised, uh, and uh, he's, he's he's physical on top. You know, he's he's he's, he's all round player. He's good. He brings a lot of experience to the club. Will will that be beneficial? That's important for the team. Yeah, you know, uh, we need experience. Um, if we if we want to to reach our our goals, you're also playing in front of a new goalkeeper in Simon Mignolet. What have you made of him so far? Uh, he's he's been he's been impressive in training. You know he's he's a he's a great shot stopper, uh, and uh, obviously we knew him from from Sunderland, but uh, but uh, he's been good. Communication between goalkeepers and the defenders in front of them so it's always important. Is Simon a good talker? Um, yeah, f so far what I've, what I've seen, uh, he speaks English. And lastly, with the retirement of Jamie Carragher, there's a lot of talk amongst fans about the new vice-captain of the club. Your name's been mentioned by the fans, how does that make you feel? Um, that's difficult to explain, but, but uh, that's obviously a, a, a big thing and that's, that's a big thing for me as well. Um, so, but that's not my decision.